10 months ago, NS hyped this property for $38 million before it went to auction. And incredibly, nobody even bought it. I'm going to critique this property, point out all the flaws, and tell you exactly what Ennis didn't tell you in his video. My name is Arvind Haddad. I'm the how to buy the mansion guy. I've critiqued over a thousand properties. It's what I do. Let's watch this video together. Bel Air, a neighborhood that we find ourselves in quite often. It may just seem like another community in Los Angeles, but its grounds are home to some of the most incredible estates in the world. Today, we arrive at another beautiful estate, three floors of modern architecture, contemporary lines framing its design, an incredible pool deck, walls of glass, and terrace gardens that flow into the canyons below. And we cannot wait to show it to you. Once again, welcome to Bel Air. We're gonna start that the exterior. Gates open up to this long private driveway that brings you to the motor court. Since this driveway is located on the hillside and it hugs the hillside, it gets phenomenal. Okay, I really like the fact that it has a private driveway, but the fact that the driveway is completely downhill, when it rains, the water is going to go straight towards your foundation and front door, and that's never a good thing. Views as you're pulling up to your house. Now, behind me, or in front of me now, we have the three-car garage, and inside of the garage, you can see that we have massive picture windows. Okay, he's going to claim that the view is unobstructed. I'm going to point all of them out. The first one, there's a huge construction going on. There's going to be a house built over here, which is going to obstruct some of your view. Facing those same unobstructed views. Then looking at this side, house looks very deceiving because we can only see the top floor from this angle. It's actually four levels, and we're going to cover those levels later. We have this beautiful pivot door opening up to the foyer. This home is all about natural light and these views. All right, pay attention to the downtown LA view. It's obstructed by this tree. It's very wide angle. The tree and the mountain are really blocking it. And this is the fourth floor. Views only get worse as you go down. Facing the outside. In fact, my favorite window is this one right here. It's a massive picture window without any seams, so you can really enjoy the views. I would score the view overall a five. I right, follow me this way. This office can qualify as a bedroom because it has a closet and it also has a full bathroom, textured by stone, LED lit mirror. Then you come on this side and you have your beautiful walk-in shower. You have your rain head above, and I just realized there are no valves or adjustment for your water temperature. It's on a screen. That's a nightmare. If it breaks, not all plumbers can come fix it. You need to call the specialist. I really like the marble, but this window over here looks really cheap. It's a really nice bathroom, and I really appreciate that they also put a skylight here. Now, let's go back to the entry again. So we can continue our tour on the other side. We have a long hallway here. It's funny. He says long hallway as if it's a good thing. Hallways are always wasted square footage. What's much better if the rooms connect to each other seamlessly so you don't have this wasted square footage. And also pay attention to how narrow this hallway is. For a house to be considered luxury or ultra luxury, you need to have at least two people, adults, shoulder to shoulder, be able to walk together through the hallway. That would be considered luxury. This is super narrow. It's the same width of any hallway you would see in a two-bedroom condo. There are picture windows bringing natural light, and the door on my left opens up to a powder bathroom. I really like the vanity design here. I really like this powder room. We have a cabinet down below with LED lighting, pulling a nice powder bathroom. Back to the hallway. This door opens up to the second bedroom. King-size bed right in the center with some built-ins and L. So one of the good things about this property is that it's southwestish facing, so you're going to get a lot of natural light. He's right about that. LED lighting, seating area on each side. Look at the picture window right there. Facing the views. I mean, it's incredible. You can see the house under construction. The frame is up right here. We're going to talk about this neighbor a lot. Incredible. Rain at above, body sprays, everything you need. Beautiful bathroom for this bedroom. Now, let's go back to the foyer. We have the main staircase here going down to the floor below, which is the main floor. On this level, we have the entertainment lounge, massive patio, formal dining room, kitchen, family room. So we got a lot to cover on this level. Follow me this way. We have the elevator here, and this hallway takes us to two powder bathrooms two powder bathrooms right next to each other. This one is more on the darker side. Again, beautiful vanity from Antonio Lupi. Catch your towel in the back with a chevron pattern. Then you have your LED lit mirror. And right on the other... These finishes are all right. This side, we have another one that's almost identical with more of the lighter finishes. These are really nice powder bathrooms that serve the main floor. Now, coming back to the landing, I want to take... Everybody this way so we can check out the entertainment lounge. Okay, pay attention to the volume and ceiling heights. Lounge. This, this is a phenomenal space. We have a bar on the left-hand side, seating section right in the center. But first, I want to talk about this TV wall. It's... Okay, the volume and the ceiling heights for this property is the same of a $7 million property. The great room, this is the biggest family room. This is the spot everyone is supposed to hang out in. It's the same for a $7 million house. And the ceiling heights, again, it's not, you know, 12 feet. It's not really, really high. It's, it's good, but it's no cigar. This hallway takes you to the wine cellar. 
I, I wouldn't call this a nice wine cellar whatsoever. The middle f- pieces are just really cheap. Like they didn't spend any money in the wine cellar. There's no backlight. There's nothing. Now, let's talk about this corner for a second. We have a beautiful double-sided fireplace. I love that it's floating. And on top, it's open. So it's allowing natural light to come into the space or more natural light to come into the space. It's a nice contemporary architectural detail. It's okay. Now, follow me here. More ice lighting glass doors open up. And we're going to talk about the patio in a second. But first, let's cover the island. Fabricated out of marble with LED lighting, bar stools. And this is your grill elevation bar. Again, Michael, let's turn out this way one more time. And to- I don't like the color palettes. It's nothing special. Black, white, and wood. And cream couches. The palette, it's not exciting. It's very neutral, but you know, the black kind of throws that off. And look at this main floor balcony. It's 120 feet long, 16 feet wide. It's so funny. He's advertising the length as if it's a yacht, like it's a good thing. This is a long house. It's disjointed. You got to walk from one side to the other side, beside the fact that you got to take four or five stairs to get to the swimming pool. But that's always a negative. And it faces these breathtaking views. That's downtown Los Angeles right there. Which is obstructed. Canyon views down. Okay, pay attention to this conversation between Ennis and Mikey. But you have a one impressive one right there. In fact, that's a property we toured Luffin, 139 million dollars. And it doesn't hurt to have 139 million dollars neighboring your 30 million dollar property. Yeah, it has to keep the property values up. But I-, I have serious objection to what just happened because Ennis is using the property next door that has been listed for $139 million for ages and it has not sold as a comp to justify the $38 million price tag for this property. And this is why I feel like maybe they're getting paid to hype this house up. Tell me in the comments if you think they're getting paid to hype the house up. And if they are getting paid, shouldn't they be disclosing that information to the viewer or not? At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you guys exactly how much I think this property is worth that was listed originally at 48 when Ennis does the review is listed at 38 and then it goes to auction and it doesn't even sell at auction. I'll give you a personal price opinion at the end of the video. So make sure you watch to the end. I couldn't agree more. But now I want to bring everybody back inside. And now let's talk about the formal dining room. Okay, that's a super tiny formal dining table for a house this big. We have an eight person dining table at our house and our house is 2,500 square feet. And the funny thing is that it's a really long house. They've had plenty of opportunities to put a maybe a 10% or 12% table. Seating for eight. Really unique table here with stone legs, chandelier above. It's nice and open, connects to your kitchen on this side, as well as right here. Because this is the main hallway. There's actually a- Another hallway. Secondary staircase here. And going right here, we have the kitchen and the family room. I really like the space. I don't like this space. I never envisioned having a beige brown kitchen. And I personally don't think any man that cooks at the house or woman that stays in the kitchen would really appreciate these colors. They've absolutely lost their mind. They tried to go neutral and they got the color palette completely wrong. It's not appealing to anyone. They just went safe, neutral, but they just really missed the mark with this. It's all open. Seating area is here. Then we have the kitchen on this side with two islands. This is your first island with a bar seating and a glass like here. And following this island, wine fridge, your first thing. And on the other side, we have the main island. We have the rest of the base cabinets here. I guess wall cabinet. Not impressed whatsoever. It's so dull, so dull. I don't think this kitchen inspires any cook. I want to talk about a detail here. So this kitchen comes with a remote. Now you may be wondering why you need a remote in a kitchen. Well, whoa, that's that's a gimmick. That's not going to sell the property. So first, yes, I I wanted to make sure I capture your reaction to it. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, need a motorized voice. Yeah, so um, the top one lifts up just enough so you get clear and this one moves to the side. Interesting. That's pretty cool. So we close it, right? I mean, it's cool if you have that as like a coffee bar or something, you know? Have your machines in there. Don't speak too soon. Okay. You press the next button. Okay, that seems scripted now. Uh, well, well, they have an oven here, but obviously you can put an espresso machine here. Look at the cabinetry. How sweet it is. Put some spices in there or something. Very cool. Pretty amazing, yeah? And press it again. I'm shocked how well it operates. Till it doesn't. Back to the seating area. So we can check out this space. Really like the sectional couch here. Few chairs. That does not look like a luxury couch to me whatsoever. It looks like West L. Ottoman in the center, 
Then you have your TV wall with a fireplace. Again, this might be the most undeveloped part of the hills, whether it's Hollywood Hills, Beverly. There is very, very good reasons why it's undeveloped. We're gonna cover that. Now, let's take everybody outside one more time. We got a couple more details to talk about. This property is almost six acres. And down below us, we have... Now, this is going to shock you. Because this property is a hillside, and it's surrounded by nature, all these greenery that you can see, this is a major fire hazard. In Bel Air, there's been multiple, as recent as three, four years ago, fires in the hills. And for that reason, just to ensure this house against fire, I'm not talking about earthquake insurance, which you need to get, regular insurance, for fire insurance alone, I will guesstimate for this property, it will be somewhere around $20,000 a month. Now, the second detail I want to talk about is the structural aspect of this home. So if you look at this house from the outside, you can see that it consists of four to five levels, depending on how sorry five levels i made a mistake how you count the levels and this house sits on massive concrete caissons and in case you're wondering what that is that's actually a structural column they had to leave it exposed but i'm really glad that they clad with this chrome finish so it looks very architectural and really nice <laughs> that's a major flaw i wouldn't call it an architectural uh, design it, it, it's it's a flaw a little style to it that's right all right back to the hallway back to the hallway Back to the hallway. Now, so we can continue with the seating area here, two couches, walls are perfect for you to feature your art. Then we have a sliding glass door opening up to a landing where we have the outdoor staircase that leads you to the lower patios. Let's go back. So from the lower level, you need to take two sets of stairs to get to the swimming pool. To this side now, this is the right way. Now, I really like the design and the layout of this bedroom. We have the seating area here. I don't like the design and the layout at all. I mean, the separation is okay, but that's just so dated. I would have wished they would have some used some natural wood. This is like, you know, very intimate living spaces where you want to not use maybe black, maybe softer tones or natural wood. It just doesn't inspire me whatsoever. Now the dark theme continues also in this bathroom. Look at that stone wall right there, that's book match. Yeah. That's pretty good stone for his bathroom. Have your walk-in shower in here. See stone continues on this side. Then you have your freestanding tub. And the structural column that we saw in the gym, they have it also here. But again, it makes it look kind of contemporary. <laughs> I can't believe he's putting a positive spin on it. You come to this side. We saw this double-sided fireplace detail at the entertainment lounge. They brought it here as well. Do you see that mega $139 million mansion looking right into your master bedroom? But first, we got to go this way because we have a panic room here. Okay, panic rooms. People really ask for them. Like crime is so bad. People are really asking for panic rooms. It is important. It's good to have. Or at least it's good to have an area where you could designate it to panic room so the you know buyer could actually build one for themselves. But this is a plus. Yeah, so cabinetry, you can actually bring plumbing lines to see if you want to have a sink, uh, water, you have your own separate air conditioning unit for this room. And check this out right This door weighs 3,200 pounds. That's a full one, sorry, I don't know if it's the end of the room. Um, then, let me see if I can open this. Yeah, fingerprint access or password access. This is insane, huh? Look at this door. There you go. Go into your second bathroom. This one is a little bit bigger. Right in the center of it, you have your map with a direct view of the $139 million mansion. And of course, right around the corner, your walk-in shower, multiple shower heads. I like this marble a lot. Very nice, subtle. This marble would never age. This would look relevant in 20, 30 years from now too. How, look how subtle and just simple it is. That's the type of marble you want to pick in your houses. This body spray, so we can check out the backyard. Now, he says backyard, but you don't really have a backyard. It's just terraces, right? And, you know, you have the swimming pool, which we're going to talk about, but there is no backyard. It's a vertical house on the hill. It's just, you know, balconies and terraces. The staircase landing, we have sliding glass doors opening up to the wraparound balcony. Right in the center of it, we have this outdoor staircase taking us down to the lower patio. Let's look up for a second. 
house looks incredible from this angle and at night i'm sure it looks even better with all the outdoor lighting cove lighting throughout the home and since we have so many sliding glass doors and massive picture windows i can't wait to see how this property shows at night now mikey let's turn this way look at that you have no privacy in your swimming pool you've gone all this way you've taken five levels down five sets of stairs and you come to your swimming pool and it's like a exhibitionist paradise for nudists right and you have other houses on the other side you're just kind of offering your you know swimming pool to the community for everyone to look at it's just horrible all right before i tell you guys how much i think this property is worth today if you haven't subscribed to the channel please support the channel i try to tell you guys the truth and only the truth so you can spot flaws in properties and not overpay for properties my price opinion for this property is somewhere between 12 to 14 million dollars now there's this one other property that unfortunately could i'm not saying it will but it could have the same faith as this property if you want to watch the video for that review click right here subscribe to the channel and support the channel and i'll see you guys in the comment section